Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to my class. 同学们好，我是来自首都师范大学附属中学的胡德慧老师。今天我将带领大家一起学习八年级上册 Unit Two. How often do you exercise? 本单元一共有五个课时，今天是第一课时。Let's look at the learning aims today. At the end of this class, you will be able to. 通过本节课的学习，你将能够 one name different kinds of free time activities by illustrations. 根据图片说出不同种类的课余活动 two use adverbs of frequency. To talk about how often one does free time activities, 运用频度副词谈论从事课余活动的频率 Look at the picture. What are the people doing? Let's look at their conversation. What do you usually do on weekends? I often go to the movies. That's right. We are talking about weekend activities. What activities can you see in the picture? Let's see the names from A to、e. C. A, go shopping. B, read. And C, exercise. How about D? That's right. What TV? The last one, yes, help with housework. Did you get them right? These activities are called weekend activities. What other activities can you do on weekends? Let's look at different kinds of them. Activities for study first. This picture, 上网课 Right? Yes. Have online classes. How about this one? That's right. Do homework. And then this one. That's right. Read books. Next one. Listen to English programs. How about this one? That's right. Practice speaking. And this one. Practice handwriting. Let's look at sports. This one, right? Play ball games. Then exercise. This one, go swimming. How about that picture? That's right. Go running. Then go for a walk. This one, go hiking. And for relaxation, the first picture: play music instrument. This one. That's right. Play chess. How about this one? Very good. Go fishing. Surf the internet, and then go to the movies. This one. Watch TV. What other activities can you think of? Let's look at more. How about the first one? That's right. Do the dishes, right? And how about the second one? Yes, help with housework. This one. Good. Walk the dog, and then visit grandparents. For this picture. Good. Play with younger brother or sister. And the last one. 做志愿者 Right. Be a volunteer. Good job. Can you remember all of them? If not, no worries. Let's review them quickly. Please read after me. 
for study. Have online classes. Put others. Let's try. Yes, do homework. Then read books. Listen to English programs. Practice English speaking. Practice handwriting. And for sports, play ball games. Exercise. Go swimming. Go running. Go for a walk. Another one. Yes, go hiking. Let's look at relaxation and others. Right, play music instrument. Then, play chess. Go fishing. Surf the internet. Go to the movies. Watch TV. Do the dishes, and help with housework. Walk the dog. Visit grandparents. Play with younger brother or sister. And the last one, be a volunteer. Let's look at the picture again. Look at the sentence. I often go to the movies. Often is an adverb of frequency. 这句话中的 often 是一个频度副词，类似常见的频度副词还有 always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, never 等等。Never 意思是绝不，从来不。Hardly ever 意思是几乎不。Sometimes 有时候。Often 经常。Usually 通常。Always 总是。这些频度副词呢，由 never 概率为零，到 always 概率为百分百，频率是逐渐上升的。Hardly ever 的意思呢，与 occasionally, seldom, rarely 意思非常的相似，都是表示很少或者是偶尔的意思。Now, look at one B. Listen and write the activities next to the correct frequency words. Unit two. How often do you exercise? Section A. Activity One B. Listen and write the activities next to the correct frequency words. What do you usually do on weekends? I sometimes go shopping. I never go shopping. I usually watch TV. I always exercise. I often help with housework. How about you? I hardly ever watch TV. I always read. Oh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. I guess I just like books. Okay, what have you got? Let's check. Always, yes, exercise and read. Usually, watch TV. Often, help with housework. Sometimes, go shopping. Hardly ever, watch TV. Never go shopping. In this conversation, the reporter asks, "What do you usually do on weekends?" Different people do different activities. This time, write down the frequency words. Unit two. How often do you exercise? Section A. Activity one B. Listen and write the activities next to the correct frequency words. What do you usually do on weekends? I sometimes go shopping. I never go shopping. I usually watch TV. I always exercise. I often help with housework. How about you? I hardly ever watch TV. 
I always read. Oh, why is that? Oh, I don't know. I guess I just like books. What did you get? Let's check. I sometimes go shopping. I never go shopping. I usually watch TV. I always exercise. I often help with housework. I hardly ever watch TV. I always read. Now, 假设问句变成了 What does the boy or the girl do? 也就是主语变成了第三人称单数。那该如何回答呢？没错，答语也应该由第一人称 I 变成第三人称的单数 He 或者是 She。时态呢，又是一般现在时，所以动词要做相应的变形处理。比如原来的 Go 应该变成 Goes。Exercise 应该变成 exercises. Now let's look at the first one. She sometimes goes shopping. 第二个呢 ？Yes, he never goes shopping. He usually watches TV. Then he always exercises. Then. She often helps with housework. The last one, she hardly ever watches TV. She always reads. Now, let's practice the conversation in the picture above. Then make our own conversations. Look at the two pictures. What activities are they? Yes, watch TV and go shopping. Let's look at the conversation. What do you do on weekends? I usually watch TV. Do you go shopping? No, I never go shopping. 现在，让我们试着用第三人称进行问答。老师在这里再次提醒大家注意，对话的时态是一般现在时，主语是。The boy, 或者是 he， 是第三人称单数。助动词和实义动词都要做相应的变化。比如，助动词应该用 does， watch 应该用 watches， go 应该用 goes。所以对话应该为 ：Yes. Question. What does the boy do on weekends? Answer: He usually watches TV. Does he go shopping? No, he never goes shopping. Two groups of students are making conversations. Please listen to the first one and fill in the blanks. Zixi, what do you do on weekends? I sometimes exercise. What kind of exercise do you usually do? I play basketball. Sometimes I run with my father. What are the missing words? Great. Sometimes and play basketball. 现在进行第三人称的问答 Question: What does the boy do on weekends? He sometimes exercises. What kind of exercise does he usually do? He plays basketball. Sometimes he runs with his father. 请大家注意，转换过来后，助动词以及实义动词都进行了三单变形。助动词用的是 does, exercise, play 和 run 后面都加了 s. Now listen to the second one. Zhi Yan, what do you do on weekends? I sometimes help my parents with housework. Do you watch TV? Oh, never. But I read a lot. What are the missing words? Great. Watch TV and never. 第三人称问答 What does the girl do on weekends? 
She sometimes helps her parents with housework. Does she watch TV? Oh, never. But she reads a lot. 怎么样？你学会了吗 ？Look at this picture. The boy is Chen Tao. Another person is asking him questions and taking notes. Can you guess what he does? Probably he's a reporter, right? What are they talking about? Yes, they are talking about weekend activities. How do you know that? That's right, from their conversation. How often do you watch TV? Twice a week. Please number the activities with how often Chen Tao does them while listening. Please look at the phrases about how often first. Every day, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, once a month, twice a month. Now, please listen. Section A, Activity Two B. Listen again. Match the activities in Two A with how often Chang Tao does them. So, Chang Tao, how often do you watch TV? Hmm, about twice a week, I guess. Aha!、Uh-huh. And how often do you read? Oh, I read every day at school. How often do you go to the movies? Uh. Let me see. Maybe once a month. How often do you exercise? Oh, I exercise about three times a week. How often do you shop? Shop? I shop about about twice a month. Let's check. One, watch TV, and how about the second one? That's right, read. Three, go to the movies. Four, exercise. The last one, shop. Then for watch TV, twice a week. Read every day. Go to the movies once a month. Exercise three times a week. And shop twice a month. Listen again and fill in the blanks. So, Chang Tao, how often do you watch TV? Hmm, about twice a week, I guess. Aha!、Uh-huh. And how often do you read? Oh, I read every day at school. How often do you go to the movies? Uh, let me see. Maybe once a month. How often do you exercise? Oh. I exercise about three times a week. How often do you shop? Shop? I shop about about twice a month. What did you get? Good. Twice a week. Every day. Once a month. Three times a week, and twice a month. Let's retell Chen Tao's weekend activities. We can start like this. Chen Tao is talking about his weekend activities. Go on. He watches TV about twice a week. He reads every day. He goes to the movies once a month. He exercises three times a week, and he shops twice a month. How often do you do these activities? Look at two C. Fill in the chart and then make conversations. For example, use the internet every day. Read English books four times a week. Go to the movies once a month. Exercise three times a week. Look at the sample conversation. How often do you watch TV? I watch TV every day. 
What's your favorite program? Animal World. How often do you watch it? Twice a week. Two groups of students are making conversations for the chart. Let's listen to the first recording, which is about using the internet every day. Miss Hu, how often do you use the internet? I use it every day. What do you do online? I read news. Do you read English news or Chinese news? I read both. Listen to the second one. This one is about reading English books four times a week. Yun Peng, how often do you read English books? About four times a week. What kind of books do you usually read? I always read story books. What is your favorite book? Harry Potter. Can you make your own conversation now? Now, let's try to retell the conversations. We can use the subject I first. 我们可以首先试着用第一人称进行转述 For the first one, I use the internet every day. I often read news online. I read both English news and Chinese news. 现在用第三人称进行转述，请大家注意，这个时候主语将由第一人称的 I 变成第三人称 Miss Hu， 胡老师，所以动词应该做相应的变形。最终为 Miss Hu uses the internet every day. She often reads news online. She reads both English news. And Chinese news. 对另外一个对话，我们还是先用第一人称进行转述。I read English books about four times a week. Always read story books. My favorite book is Harry Potter. 现在进行第三人称转述，主语为云鹏。云鹏 reads English books about four times a week. She always reads story books. Her favorite book is Harry Potter. Okay, it's time to summarize what we have learned in this class. At first, we talk about different kinds of free time activities, like study, exercise, relaxation. And others, and we learn to use adverbs of frequency to talk about how often one does free time activities. This is today's homework. Make conversations for the two activities, and then retell the two conversations. That's all for this class. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Hi, boys and girls. 同学们好，我是来自首都师范大学附属中学的胡德慧老师。Welcome back. In this class, we are going to focus on period two. Let's look at our learning aims first. At the end of this class, you will be able to. 通过本节课的学习，你将能够 one. Summarize how frequency words can be used in sentences. 总结频度副词在句子中的用法 Two, use frequency words properly in different situations. 能够在不同语境中正确使用频度副词 We will start from a guessing game. You see some pictures, but you can only see part of each picture. Please guess. What activities are they? These pictures are about study. How about the first activity? 
This one. That's right. Listen to English programs. How about this one? That's right. Do homework. And this one. That's right. Read books. Now sports. For the first picture. Yes, play ball games. How about this one? Right. Go swimming. This one. Right. Go hiking. Then for relaxation. How about the first picture? That's right. Play music instrument. The second one. Right. Play chess. The last one. Yes. Surf the internet. Others. That one. Good. Help with housework. This one. Visit grandparents. 做志愿者 be a volunteer. Great. Did you get all the activities right? Now let's watch a video. The lady in the video is Martha. She's talking about her daily activities. Watch the video and write down what activities she does and how often she does them. My name is Martha. I am a housewife. I always get up at six o'clock. I never sleep late. I usually have breakfast. I sometimes walk to the shops. I usually ride my bicycle. I never watch television. I always clean the house in the morning. Then I sometimes have a bath. I always collect my children at three p.m. This is my favorite part of the day. All right, let's check your answers. Always get up at six o'clock. Never sleep late. Usually have breakfast. Sometimes walk to the shops. Usually ride bicycles. Never watch television. Always clean the house in the morning. How about the last one? That's right. Always collect the children at three p.m. Now let's listen to a conversation between Jack and Claire. Listen and fill in the blanks. Section A, Activity 2D. Role play the conversation. Hi, Claire. Are you free next week? Hmm. Next week is quite full for me, Jack. Really? How come? I have dance and piano lessons. What kind of dance are you learning? Oh, swing dance. It's fun. I have class once a week every Monday. How often do you have piano lessons? Twice a week on Wednesday and Friday. Well, how about Tuesday? Oh, I have to play tennis with my friends. But do you want to come? Sure. Now let's check your answers. Next week, dance, piano lessons. Once a week. How often? Twice a week. Play tennis. Listen again and answer the following questions. Let's read the four questions first. One, is Claire free next week? Why? Two, how often does Claire have dance lessons? How about her piano lessons? Three, what kind of dance is Claire learning? Four, what does Claire invite Jack to do? Section A. Activity 2D. Role play the conversation. Hi, Claire. Are you free next week? Hmm. Next week is quite full for me, Jack. Really? How come? I have dance and piano lessons. What kind of dance are you learning? Oh, swing dance. It's fun. I have class once a week every Monday. 
How often do you have piano lessons? Twice a week, on Wednesday and Friday. Well, how about Tuesday? Oh, I have to play tennis with my friends. But do you want to come? Sure. Okay, it's time to check your answers. Look at the questions. Question one. Next week is quite full for me. I have dance and piano lessons. So the answer is no. She isn't because she has dance and piano lessons. 在刚才的对话中 ，how come 相当于 why is it for what reasons 为什么呢？它可以独立使用，也可以。后面接陈述语序的从句，比如 ，How come you're home now? Did school finish early today? 你怎么现在会在家里呢？学校今天提前放学了吗 ？Question two, Claire says, I have class once a week, twice a week. We can do that. She has dance lessons once a week, and piano lessons twice a week. 我们也听到对话中有 every Monday, once a week, twice a week 这样的短语。在这个表格的左列 ，every, once, twice 是频度次数，右边的 Monday, a week 是单位时间。结合起来，它们就可以表示单位时间内的频度次数。More examples, each week. Every year, five times a week. 说到这个 every day 啊，让我们一起来看一看 every day 合起来写和分开写有什么区别呢？合起来写的时候是一个形容词，表示日常的、每日的，比如 everyday life。而 every day 分开写，一般来讲是用作时间状语。让我们来做一个小小的练习，大家看一看这两个空应该填哪个 every day 呢？我们可以看到第一个句子 I read English books 缺一个时间状语，而第二个句子 My English teacher Miss Hu likes reading 什么 news news 是名词，前面可以用形容词去修饰，所以。第一空应该是填分开写的 every day， 而第二空呢？对了，应该填形容词的 every day。你做对了吗 ？Question three in the conversation, Claire says, "Swing dance." So we can know that she is learning swing dance. Swing dance, 摇摆舞。The last question, Claire says. I have to play tennis with my friends. Do you want to come? Then we can know that she invites Jack to play tennis on Tuesday. All right, it's time to look at the grammar focus. Let's read the sentences together. What do you usually do on weekends? I always exercise. Let's go on. What do they do on weekends? They often help with housework. What does she do on weekends? She sometimes goes shopping. How often do you go to the movies? I go to the movies maybe once a month. How often does he watch TV? He hardly ever watches TV. Do you go shopping? No, I never go shopping. 让我们先来看前三组的问答。左列是三个以 what 开头的特殊疑问句，句式为 What do on weekends？ 是在询问课余活动。右列的答语呢，都用了频度副词表示活动的频率。频度副词一般是在主语后或者是实义动词之前。再来看这三组句子 
。前两组问句是以 How often 开头的特殊疑问句，用来询问活动的频率。最后一个句子是一般疑问句，询问是否从事某项活动。当然，如果是第三人称单数，可以用 Does he or she。从事例得出，答语仍然是频度副词在表示活动的频率。频度副词仍然是在主语之后，实义动词之前，而表示单位时间内频度次数的 once a month 则在句子的末尾。现在呀，老师为大家布置一个小小的任务，请大家关注一下标红的单词，看一看它们有什么规律呢？没错，句子中的助动词都是 does， 而答语中的动词呢，都加了 es。为什么呢？是的，仔细一看会发现，原来句子的主语是 he 或者是 she， 而时态呢又是一般现在时。这时候，我们就要对动词和助动词进行变形 ，do 变成了 does。而 go 和 watch 也加上了 es， 也就是说呀，问句助动词的时态与答语中谓语动词的时态是对应的。这样的对应状况也可以在这四组句子当中反映出来。可以看到，左列为四个问句，助动词都是 do， 因为它们的主语都不是第三人称单数。所以，答语中的谓语动词为原形。我们还是来做一些小练习，巩固一下。请大家看到课本的 three A: complete the questions with do or does, then match the questions and answers. 我们可以根据主语来确定所填的助动词。Number one， 主语是 he。用什么呢？没错，用 does。Number two， 注意是 you， 用 yes do。Three， they do。Four， Sue。第三人称单数，应该是 does。Number five， you do。The last one， your parents， 应该用 do。Now, let's try to match them as soon as possible. At first, we can say that number two, four, and six are yes/no questions, right? 第二、四、六是一般疑问句，可以迅速在 A、D、F 当中锁定答案，再根据人称最终确定为 number two. Do you drink? Milk? Yes, I do, every day. Question four: Does Sue eat a healthy breakfast? Yes, she usually does. Number six: Do your parents play sports? That's right. No, they don't. They are too busy. 在剩下的三句话当中，我们可以通过主语迅速来确定答案。第一句的主语是 he， 可以迅速锁定为 C。He plays at least twice a week. How often do they stay up late? 答语为 Right, never. They always go to bed early. Question five: How often do you eat apples? The last one, right? Here, hardly ever. I don't like them. Now, let's practice more. Three B, use the words given to write questions and then answer. What question can you get for the first one? Good. We can get question. How often do you help with housework? And you can answer. I help with housework every day. Question two. We can say, 
What do you usually do on weekends? Answer. I usually exercise and read on weekends. Now let's go on. Three. We can ask. How often does your best friend exercise? Answer. She or he exercises three times a week. The last one. We can ask. What do you usually do after school? Yes, we can answer. I usually do my homework and then exercise. Okay, as for three C, what do you do to improve your English? Yuan Peng is a school news reporter. She is interviewing three of her classmates. Please listen and take notes in the chart. Zhu Guanrui, what do you usually do to improve English? I read English books and listen to English programs. How often do you do them? I read English books about four times a week, but I listen to English programs almost every day. Zhi Yan, what do you usually do to improve your English? I listen to English songs a lot. How often do you listen to the songs? Almost every day when I am free. What else do you do? I also read English news online every day. Good for you. Xinran, what do you usually do to improve your English? I practice listening and speaking every day. How do you practice it? I practice speaking with my language teacher. But I also use English learning software. What else do you do? I always watch English movies and English programs on TV. Does that help? For me, it works. It helps me pronounce better and understand better. Great. What have you heard? Let's check. For the first person. Read English books four times a week, and listen to English programs almost every day. For the second person, listen to English songs every day. Read English news every day. The last person, practice listening and speaking every day, and watch English movies and programs always. What other ways can we do to improve your English? Watch a video and take notes. As an English learner, there are six steps that you must follow in order to improve your English. Let's look at the first step. Step one: one of your interests. For this step, it is important for you to read and talk about your current interests in English. This will help you not to become bored with English. And increase your ability to express yourself fluently. Step two: no stress. For this step, the main point is don't stress. Instead, enjoy speaking in English. When you stress, you also stress your brain. This makes it difficult to think clearly. However, when you are relaxed, you are able to speak in English more fluently. Step three: Good content. For this step, it is important for you to remember that content is more important than grammar. As an English learner, grammar is important, but even native English speakers sometimes make grammar mistakes. So you must remember that your content is very important when you are trying to improve your fluency. Step four: Watch. A lot. For this step, watch people speaking in English, and your English will improve. The more you watch people speaking in English, the more you will understand their behavior and how they use words. This will greatly improve your English fluency. Step five: Listen a lot. For this step, listen to lots of English. Lots and lots of English. The more English you listen to, 
the more natural you will sound. Your fluency will increase as you copy the sounds you hear. Finally, step six, talk a lot. For this step, the main point is to talk a lot, a whole lot. As an English learner, you will make mistakes when you speak, but that is okay. The important thing is to speak as much as possible. This is one of the most important steps to improving your fluency. All right, amazing. Today you learned how to improve your English. Okay, what reads are mentioned? Let's check. Read and talk one of your entries, and no stress. Good content. Watch a lot, listen a lot, and talk a lot. A student is talking about her way of improving English. Listen and take notes. Hi, I'm Yuan Lai. I am a student in Grade Eight. English is my favorite subject, so I try my best to learn it well. Here are some things that I usually do to improve my English. First, I read English books for at least twenty minutes a day. Besides, I always listen to English songs when I am free. When there are words that I don't know, I always write them down and look them up in a dictionary. What's more. I talk with my language teacher online three times a week to practice my spoken English. How about you? Great. Let's check. Read English books at least twenty minutes a day. Listen to English songs always. Look up new words always, and talk with her language teacher three times a week. What other ways can you think of? Probably, listen to English news, read English books, join an English club, chat with English-speaking people, try to think in English, and use English as much as possible. You can think more and write down in your homework. Okay, it's time to sum up. In this class, we summarized. When and where frequency words can be used, and then we also learned how to use frequency words in different situations, such as in English learning. Homework for today is: listen to a sample about talking the ways of English learning, then fill in the chart to show yours. That's all for this class. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Nice to see you again. Today we are going to talk about Unit Two, Period Three. Look at our learning aims together. At the end of this class, you will be able to, 通过本节课的学习，你将能够 one. Talk about and compare Bill's and Tina's daily habits. 谈论并对比 Bill 和 Tina 的日常生活习惯 Two, talk about your own daily habits. 能够谈论你自己的日常生活习惯 Since we are going to talk about daily habits, let's talk about eating habits first. Now, let's look at some pictures about food and drinks. What will you see? Look at the first one, cherries, right? And how about this one, strawberries, and oranges? That one, great grapes, and pears, and bananas. Good. Now let's look at more. The first one, great tomatoes. And then, peppers, carrots. That one. That's right, cabbage, 卷心菜 
And this one, celery, 芹菜 How about this one? Right, broccoli, 西兰花 Please read the three words with me. Cabbage, cabbage, celery, celery, broccoli, broccoli. Now, let's look at them. The first one, right? Cookies, chocolate, and yes, ice cream, and. Hamburger, French fries, and hot dog. Good job. Now look at these pictures. How about the first one? That's right. Milk tea, coffee, 啤酒 yes, beer, and fruit juice, cola, or Coke, tea. Or green tea. Now, look at this picture. What can you see? Yes, we can see pears, an apple, grapes, bananas. Probably there is an orange as well, right? But we are not sure. What kind of food are they? That's right. They are all fruit. How about this picture? There are a lot of things, right? We can see, right? Corn, celery, carrot, pepper, tomato, broccoli, purple cabbage. Maybe, right? What kind of food are they? That's right. They are all vegetables. In this picture, we can see, yes, cola, chips, cookies, chocolate, soft drink, and they are all called, yes, junk food. Now, look at one A. There are six pictures and six words. Let's match them. One. Junk food, B, right? And then milk, A, fruit, yes, E, and the vegetables. That's right, C, right? And sleep, F, and the coffee, D. Have you got all the answers right? If we want to be healthy. What should we usually eat or drink? That's right. We should eat more vegetables and fruit. Fruit juice and green tea are healthy, right? They are all good choices as well. Now let's use the words from one A to ask and answer questions. Let's listen to a sample first. How often do you drink milk, Liu Fang? I drink milk every day. Do you like it? No, but my mother wants me to drink it. She says it's good for my health. There are two conversations between students. Please listen to the first one and fill in the chart. Zexi, how often do you eat hamburgers? I never eat hamburgers. Really? How come? They taste good, but they are bad for my health. Okay, what did you get? Food, hamburgers. The reason is, yes, they are bad for health. Be bad for 的意思是对什么什么有害的 For example, junk food is bad for our health. 那对什么什么有好处应该怎么说呢？是的。Be good for, for example, exercising is good for our health. 锻炼对我们的身体有好处。我们也可以说 ，listening to English programs is good for our English study. 听英文节目对英语学习有好处。
Listen to the second one and fill in the blanks. Zhiyan, how often do you eat vegetables and fruit? Almost every meal. Wow, you have a very healthy habit. Yeah, because they are rich in vitamins. They can keep us healthy. Let's check your answers. Vegetables and fruit. Every. Healthy. Keep us healthy. Here is a very interesting video, which is about food and health. Please watch it and complete the lyrics on the left. Ready? Go! Hello there! Ha ha! <laughs> Johnny, ever since you started eating healthy food, you look so good and healthy. Thanks, Jiffy. I've also stopped eating junk food, you know. Now, kids, do you know what happens when you eat healthy food? Let's sing and learn about it. Eat healthy food every day to keep you strong all the way. Fruits and veggies are here to stay. So throw that junk food all away. Run and jump. Eating healthy food is very strong. We can run and jump and skip. Come on, let's skip for the next song. Oh. <laughs> what have you got? Let's say it together. Or you can sing. Eat healthy food every day. To keep you strong all the way. Fruit and veggies are here to stay. So, through the junk food all the way. Run and jump more today. Skip and dance along the way. If you have eaten all your food, then in all your work, you'll be good. Burgers and fries, no, no, no. Tomatoes and apples, have a go to keep you healthy all the way and hold that sickness all at bay. Wow, what a nice song. I like it a lot. How about you? Now, in one C, you can see two pictures. The man who is reading is a reporter. The girl is Tina and the boy is Bill. They are talking about their daily habits. Do they have good habits? Listen and circle your answers. Section B, Activity 1C. Listen to an interview about two people's daily habits. Circle your answer to each question. Hi, Tina and Bill. Let's start with the first question. How often do you exercise? Every day. Hardly ever. How often do you eat vegetables and fruit? I eat vegetables and fruit every day. I sometimes eat vegetables, but I never eat fruit. Okay. How many hours do you sleep every night? Nine. Me too. How often do you drink milk? Never. I can't stand milk. Oh, I love milk. I drink it every day. How often do you eat junk food? I eat it three or four times a week. 
I guess I eat it two or three times a week. And how often do you drink coffee? Oh, I drink coffee four times a day. I never drink coffee. Well, thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Does Tina have a good habit? Yes. How about Bill? Does Bill have a good habit? No. One D. Listen again. Fill in the blanks in the survey. Section B, Activity One D. Listen again. Fill in the blanks in the survey. Hi, Tina and Bill. Let's start with the first question. How often do you exercise? Every day. Hardly ever. How often do you eat vegetables and fruit? I eat vegetables and fruit every day. I sometimes eat vegetables, but I never eat fruit. Okay. How many hours do you sleep every night? Nine. Me too. How often do you drink milk? Never. I can't stand milk. Oh, I love milk. I drink it every day. How often do you eat junk food? I eat it three or four times a week. I guess I eat it two or three times a week. And how often do you drink coffee? Oh, I drink coffee four times a day. I never drink coffee. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now let's check your answers. Question one: How often do you exercise, Tina? Every day. And Bill, hardly ever. Question two: How often do you eat fruit, Tina? Every day. And Bill, never. For question three: How many hours do you sleep every night, Tina? Nine hours, and Bill nine hours as well. And question four: How often do you drink milk, Tina? Every day, and Bill never. Question five: How often do you eat junk food, Tina? Two or three times a week, and Bill three or four times a week. For the last question. How often do you drink coffee, Tina? Never. And Bill, four times a day. Let's fill in the blanks according to the conversation. To retell Tina's habits, let's do it together. Please read aloud with me. Ready? Go. Tina has good habits. She exercises. Every day, and she eats vegetables and fruit every day. She sleeps for nine hours every night. She loves milk, and she drinks it every day. She eats junk food two or three times a week. She never drinks coffee. Then, let's retell Bill's habits. Please read after me. Bill. Doesn't have good habits. He hardly ever exercises. He sometimes eats vegetables and he never eats fruit. He sleeps for nine hours every night. He never drinks milk because he can't stand it. He eats junk food three or four times a week. He drinks coffee four times a day. 怎么样？你？都填对了吗 ？Now we are going to watch a short video. The lady in this video is Jolie. She's talking about her habits in the morning. Watch this video and answer. Does she have healthy or unhealthy morning habits? I always get up at 6:10 a.m. After that, I always do exercise in the morning. Sometimes I go for a run in the morning. I always make breakfast by myself and have breakfast at home in the morning. I often eat bread and eggs or noodles in the morning.
I always drink a lot of water in the morning. But I sometimes have a coffee in the morning too. I rarely drink fruit juice in the morning. Does she has healthy or unhealthy morning habits? I think she has healthy habits. What do you think? Watch the video again and write down Julie's morning activities and how often she does them. I always get up at 16 a.m. After that, I always do exercise in the morning. Sometimes I go for a run in the morning. I always make breakfast by myself and have breakfast at home in the morning. I often eat bread and eggs or noodles in the morning. I always drink a lot of water in the morning. But I sometimes have a coffee in the morning too. I rarely drink fruit juice in the morning. Let's check your answers. How often in the morning activities? Always get up at 16 a.m. Always do exercise. Sometimes go for a run. Always make breakfast by herself. Have breakfast at home. Often eat bread and eggs or noodles. Always drink a lot of water. Sometimes have a coffee. Rarely drink fruit juice. Now let's talk about Julie's morning habits in four sentences. 请大家注意，连词成句时，主语用的第三人称单数 she。大家记得，动词要进行适当的变形。Let's look at the first sentence. She always gets up at six ten a.m. How about the second one? That's right. She always does exercise in the morning. For the third one, yes, she sometimes goes for a run in the morning. For this sentence, she always makes breakfast by herself and has breakfast at home. Next one. That's right. She often. Eat bread and eggs or noodles in the morning. Next, she always drinks a lot of water. She sometimes has a coffee in the morning. And the last one, she rarely drinks fruit juice in the morning. Based on all the descriptions above, we can try to make a short report on Julie's morning activities. Please listen to a sample. And fill in the blanks. Jolie has healthy morning habits. She does a lot of things in the morning. She always gets up early, at six ten a.m. Then she always exercises. Sometimes she goes for a run. After that, she always makes breakfast by herself and has it at home. For breakfast, she often eats bread and eggs or noodles. Also, she drinks a lot of water in the morning. Sometimes she has a coffee, but she rarely drinks fruit juice. Now, let's read the report together. Julie has healthy morning habits. She does a lot of things in the morning. She always gets up early at six ten a.m. Then she always exercises. Sometimes she goes for a run. After that, she always makes breakfast by herself and has it at home. For breakfast, she often eats bread and eggs or noodles. Also, she drinks a lot of water in the morning. Sometimes. She has a coffee, but she rarely drinks fruit juice. 不知道大家有没有发现
文中加粗的这几个单词 ，then、after that、also， 这些单词叫做 linking words， 连接词。合理的使用连接词，能让我们的文章更加的具有逻辑性，更加的连贯。特别常见的还有，比如 first、second、third 等等。建议大家在转述，包括写作当中进行合理的利用。Okay, it's time to summarize what we have learned in this class. First, we talked about different kinds of food and drinks. Then we talked about Bill's and Tina's daily habits. At last, we learned how to talk about our own daily habits from Jolly. The homework for today is to. Listen to a sample about daily habits. Then fill in this form to show your own daily habits, and then make a report on it. That's all for today's class. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. 同学们好，我是来自首都师范大学附属中学的胡德慧老师。今天我们将学习第四课时 ，Period Four. Let's look at our learning aims. At the end of this class, you will be able to. 通过本节课的学习，你将能够 one pick out. And retell the data information from the survey into B. 提取并转述二 B 调查报告的数据信息 Two, do a survey on your classmates' free time activities and make a pie chart to show the results. 调查你同学的课余活动情况，并制作简单的饼状图展示结果 Let's look at some pictures first. They are showing some activities. Can you see them in English? The first one, watch TV, and this one, can you? That's right. Go to the movies. How about this one? 玩电脑游戏 play computer games, exercise or play sports, 上网 right? Surf the internet. And then, 野营 go camping, go camping in the country. Now look at two A, and rank these activities according to how often you think your classmates do them. For me, I guess number one is surfing the internet. Probably the second one is access or play sports. Am I right? How about the rest of them? What do you think? Well, some teachers in Number Five High School are interested in their students' free time activities. They choose three of these activities. They are watch TV, exercise, play sports, and surf the internet. They did a survey and made a report. What are the results? Let's look at the survey and find out. At first, look at the numbers. Let's read them together. Ten, fifteen, twenty, forty-five, ninety. Now, can you find them out in the report quickly? Please try. Ten. Good. Fifteen. Right here. And twenty. Yes, and forty-five. Good, ninety. Very nice. Now, look at more. Two. Right here, thirteen. Right, eighty-five. Right here. Here are three pie charts. 
They are about exercise, use the internet, and watching TV. For each pie chart, there are more than one parts. These parts show the percentages of different situations. For example, the first pie chart is about exercise. There are four parts, which represents four groups of students. Exercise every day, one to three times a week, four to six times a week, and do not exercise. Now I'm going to play the recording. Please read with it and complete the pie charts. Section B, Activity Two B. Read the article and complete the pie charts on the next page. What do number five high school students do in their free time? Last month, we asked our students about their free time activities. Our questions were about exercise, use of the internet, and watching TV. Here are the results. We found that only 15% of our students exercise every day. 45% exercise four to six times a week. 20% exercise only one to three times a week, and 20% do not exercise at all. We all know that many students often go online, but we were surprised that 90% of them use the internet every day. The other 10% use it at least three or four times a week. Most students use it for fun. And not for homework. The answers to our questions about watching television were also interesting. Only two percent of the students watch TV one to three times a week. Thirteen percent watch TV four to six times a week, and eighty-five percent watch TV every day. Although many students like to watch sports, game shows are the most popular. It is good to relax by using the internet or watching game shows, but we think the best way to relax is through exercise. It is healthy for the mind and the body. Exercise, such as playing sports, is fun, and you can spend time with your friends and family as you play together. And remember, old habits die hard. So start exercising before it's too late. What numbers have you got for each chart? Let's check. Fifteen percent every day, twenty percent one to three times a week, and twenty percent no exercise. Forty-five percent four to six times a week, and then for use the internet. Ten percent, three to four times a week, and ninety percent every day. Watching TV, thirteen percent, four to six times a week, two percent, one to three times a week, and eighty-five percent every day. Did you got all the answers right? Now read with the recording again and summarize the main idea of each paragraph. What do number five high school students do in their free time? Last month, we asked our students about their free time activities. Our questions were about exercise, use of the internet, and watching TV. Here are the results. Look at the third of the parts. Last month, our students, their free time activities, use of the internet. And watching TV. They are about time, respondent, purpose, and content of the survey, right? So this paragraph is the survey introduction. Paragraph two. We found that only fifteen percent of our students exercise every day. Forty-five percent exercise four to six times a week. Twenty percent exercise only one to three times a week, and twenty percent do not exercise at all. In this paragraph, it says 
Fifteen percent of our students exercise every day. Forty-five percent exercise four to six times a week. Twenty percent exercise only one to three times a week. We can see that exercise is the key word. It mainly talks about the survey results of exercising. Paragraph three. We all know that many students often go online, but we were surprised that ninety percent of them use the internet every day. The other ten percent use it at least three or four times a week. Most students use it for fun and not for homework. Look at the keywords: go online, use the internet, use it. We can know that it mainly talks about the use of internet or going online. It also tells us the numbers of the students and how often they go online. In general, we can get to the conclusion that they are right. The survey results of going online. Paragraph four. The answers to our questions about watching television were also interesting. Only two percent of the students watch TV one to three times a week. Thirteen percent watch TV four to six times a week, and eighty-five percent watch TV every day. Although many students like to watch sports, game shows are the most popular. The first sentence. Answers to our questions about watching television were also interesting. It's a topic sentence. Then it talks about the percentages of people who watch TV with different frequencies according to the survey. So we can summarize that this paragraph is mainly about yes, the survey results of watching TV. Very good. Paragraph five. It is good to relax by using the internet or watching game shows, but we think the best way to relax is through exercise. It is healthy for the mind and the body. Exercise, such as playing sports, is fun, and you can spend time with your friends and family as you play together. And remember, old habits die hard. So start exercising before it's too late. Let's read the first sentences. It's good to relax by using the internet or watching game shows, but we think the best way to relax is through exercise. It is healthy for the mind and the body. Exercise such as playing sports is fun, and you can spend time with your friends and family as you play together. What is the author doing? That's right. He is giving his opinion. How about the last sentence? Start exercising before it's too late. Yes, he is giving advice. So this paragraph is about opinion and advice. After we analyze the main idea of this passage, paragraph by paragraph. Let's look at the text structure. Paragraph one is a survey introduction. We can also say it is the topic of the survey. Paragraph two to four are about the results of the survey. The last paragraph is a conclusion of the survey. Now read paragraph one and answer the question. One, what were the questions about? From the underlying part, we can know that the questions were about exercise, use of the internet, and watching TV. Two, how many percent of students do not access at all? So, from the last sentence, we can say. Twenty percent of students do not access at all. We found that only fifteen percent of our students access every day.
percent 是个名词，意思是百分之多少。它的写法及读法呢，就是奇数加上 percent。比如百分之五十就是奇数 fifty 加上 percent。百分之三呢，读作 three percent。但老师提醒大家注意 ，percent 做主语的时候。谓语动词的数根据它后面的名词来确定。For example, fifty percent of the apples are bad. 在这个句子当中，后面的名词 apples 是复数，所以呢 ，be 动词用的是 are. B, twenty percent of the meat is in the fridge. Meat 呢是一个不可数名词，所以 be 动词是。Is number three. How many percent of the students use the internet every day? From the first sentence, we can see that ninety percent of the students use the internet every day. Question four. How often do most students watch TV? What do they usually watch? There are three groups of students, right? Two percent, thirteen percent, and eighty-five percent. Eighty-five is the most, right? They watch TV every day, and game shows are the most popular. The answers to our question about watching TV were also interesting. The answers to 是什么什么的答案。类似的呢，还有 the key to, the reply to, the way to. For example, we think the best way to relax is through exercise. Although many students like to watch sports, game shows are the most popular. Although 的意思是尽管、虽然、即使。请大家注意 ，although 引导的从句呢，不能够与 but 连用。让我们来练习一下。尽管他离家很早，但是他还是迟到了。由于第一个句子 although 和 but 连用了，所以呢，错误。而第二个句子 ，although he left home early, he was late， 是正确的表达。Question five: What does the writer think is the best way to relax? Why? It shows that we think the best way to relax is through exercise. It also tells us the reasons. It is healthy for the mind and the body. Exercise, such as playing sports, is fun. And you can spend time with your friends and family as you play together. Great, these are correct answers. Do you think the students at Number Five High School are healthy? Why or why not? Think about it. It is good to relax by using the internet or watching game shows. H A S 加形容词 to do something 的意思是干某事是怎么怎么的。For example, it is interesting to play computer games, or it is very important to make a plan before a new term. Old habits die hard. 它的意思是旧习难改。这是英语中的一句谚语。表示习惯一旦养成，并非朝夕即可改变。它都用来描述人们一时难以改变的固有观念及做法。For example, it's the age of new technology, but my grandpa still goes everywhere with his old radio. Old habits die hard, you see. So start exercising before it's too late. It's too late. 与 before 共同组成从句，表示不要等到为时已晚。
，不要等到来不及的时候，趁着还来得及。让我们来看一个例子。You should work harder before it's too late to catch up. 它的意思是，你应当更加用功，别等到为时过晚而赶不上了。也就是说呀，你现在用功还赶得上。Okay, so far we have talked about the content in details. How much can you remember? Let's do a small challenging work. Look at 2D. According to the article and the pie charts. Write sentences with the percentages using frequency words. For example, 90 percent of the students always use the internet. 85. Can you try? 85 percent of the students always watch TV. 45 ne? 45 percent of the students. Usually exercise. 百分之十，我们可以写成 ten percent of the students often use the internet. 百分之十三 Okay, thirteen percent of the students usually watch TV. 百分之二呢 Okay, two percent of the students sometimes watch TV. So far, you have learned free time activities and percentages. Let's look at 2E. You will find five phrases of free time activities in the left part. Choose one of them, or think of your own. Then ask your classmates how often they do this activity. Take notes in the right chart, and then make a pie chart for it. I made an example for you. I interviewed ten teachers about how often they read books. The results are: four teachers, that means forty percent of them, read books one to three times a week. Three teachers, that means thirty percent of them, read four to six times a week. And the rest thirty percent read books every day. This is the pie chart for the results. As you can see. There are three parts: forty percent, thirty percent, and thirty percent. And you can also see that I use blue colors to represent one to three times, orange for four to six times, and gray for every day. Okay, it's time to summarize what we have learned. At first. We learn percentages and analyze the text structure of the survey. There are three parts: topic, results, and conclusion. We also look at the data information of number five high school students' free time activities. The homework for today is to choose one of these free time activities or think of your own. Then. Ask your classmates how often they do this activity, and make a pie chart. That's all for this class. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Today we are going to focus on the last period. Let's look at the learning aims. At the end of this class, you will be able to, 通过本节课的学习，你将能够 one list your habits, good habits and bad habits. 列出你的诸多的习惯。包括好习惯和坏习惯。Two, imitate the text structure of three A to describe one's habits. 能够仿照三 A 的文段结构描写某人的习惯。Before we get started, I want to ask you two questions. Do you think you are healthy? Are you healthier than your parents? 
Let's do a health quiz. In this quiz, you can choose the option that is suitable for you, and then add the points up. Do you want to know if Miss Hu has healthy habits? Let's take a look, and you can check yours at the same time. The first one: How often do you eat breakfast? Well, for me, I eat breakfast every day, so I would choose. C. Then I get two points. Question two: How often do you eat fast food? Usually, I never eat fast food, but when I'm busy, I may eat a few times a week. So I may choose B. Then I get one point. Three: How often do you eat vegetables and fruit? Almost every day. Then I get two points, so in total I get five points on this page. Then, question four: How often do you exercise? Well, this is not a good question for me. I would choose B. Then I get one point. Question five. How many hours do you watch TV every week? Never. So I would choose A. I get two points. The last question: How many hours do you usually sleep at night? B. Six or seven. Then I get one point. Then I get four points on this page. So totally, I get. Nine points. Then I'm really healthy. Good for me and my health. How many points have you got? Are you healthier than me? Look at this girl. Her name is Jane. The chart shows her habits. On the right part, there are different kinds of activities. On the right, it shows the days she does them in a year. For example, exercise, read books, 365 days, and watch TV for over two hours, 320 days. Do you still remember this chart? Can we express Jin's habits by using the adverbs of frequency? We can try to calculate the percentage for each activity first, then. Write down the adverbs of frequency. We can first write the adverbs of frequency. Then we can write down the adverbs of frequency. Then we can write down the adverbs of frequency. Then we can write down the adverbs of frequency. Then we can write down the adverbs of frequency. Then we can write down the adverbs of frequency. 三百二十天除以三百六十五天，再乘以百分比，得出是百分之八十八，大约对应的频度副词是 usually。我们可以以同样的方法得出 often、sometimes、hardly ever、and never 等等。当然，老师得提醒大家一下，这样的对应呢，只是为了后边的填词做的一个大致的对应，不是非常精确的。Here is the report, which is about Jean's habits. Let's complete the report with the help of the chart. What are the missing words? Let's check together. Please read aloud with me. Jean is a 16-year-old high school student in the United States. American teenager magazine asked her about her habits. Jean has a lot of good habits. She always exercises, and she reads books every day. Also, she often drinks juice, and she hardly ever stays up late. However, she has some bad habits too. She usually watches TV for more than two hours a day, and she sometimes eats hamburgers. Her parents are not very happy because she hardly ever helps with housework, and she 
never go to the dentist for teeth cleaning. She says she is afraid. Now, let's look at some questions. These questions will help us better understand the report, so that we can write our own reports later. Question one: What is this passage mainly about? The first sentence: Jean is a 16-year-old high school student in the United States. American Teenager Magazine asks her about her habits. It tells us who and what the report is about. In general, we can say this passage is mainly about an American high school student Jean's habits. Question two: What habits does Jean have? Let's look at the underlined words. Jean has a lot of good habits. However, she has some bad habits too. We know that Jean has both some good habits and some bad habits. Question three: What good habits does Jean have? It first says Jean has a lot of good habits. They are. She always exercises and reads books every day. She also often drinks juice and hardly ever stays up late. Then, question four: What bad habits does Jean have? Look at the sentence. She has some bad habits too. What are they? Yes, she usually watches TV for more than two hours a day. And she sometimes eats hamburgers. Her parents are not happy because she hardly ever helps with housework, and she never goes to the dentist for teeth cleaning. These are the correct answers for question four. Question five: How many parts can you divide the passage into? Let's look at the underlined parts first. Jean. And about her habits. These two parts are about who and what. After the sentence, Jean has a lot of good habits. There are all descriptions about Jean's good habits. And then after the sentence, however, she also has some bad habits. There are all descriptions about Jean's bad habits. Therefore. We can divide this passage into three parts. The first part is the topic of the report, and then it is about Jean's good habits. The last part is about Jean's bad habits. Now, let's look at the structure of the report. There are three parts of the report: topic, good habits, and bad habits. The topic includes who and what, and both habits include activities and how often one does them. While writing good habits, we can use sentence structure like "have a lot of good habits." While writing bad habits, we can use the linking word "however" first, and then use the sentence structure "have a lot of bad habits." 前面写的是好的习惯，后面写的呢是不好的习惯，是一种转折，所以我们中间用了 however 进行衔接，怎么样？是不是非常的自然呢 ？Here is a chart. It can show one's good habits and bad habits. It can also show what activities there are and how often one does them. You can complete the chart. With your own information. Before we talk about our habits, let's briefly go over some common habits in English. There are good habits and bad habits. We can talk about them from different aspects, including study, sports, eating, sleeping, and others. Let's look at some habits of study first. Good habits: 
read a lot of books, pay attention in class, and take notes. Ask the teacher for help. Bad habits: forget to do homework, do not pay full attention in class, put today's work till tomorrow. Then for sports, good habits: run, play basketball, go swimming. Bad habits: exercise only once a week, don't do any exercise. And do exercise before going to bed. For eating, good habits: eat a lot of vegetables, drink plenty of water, stay away from junk food. Bad habits: eat too much candy and ice cream, prefer meat to vegetables, have soft drinks rather than water. And for sleeping. Good habits: listen to soft music before sleeping, go to bed early and get up early, have eight hours sleep. Bad habits: stay up too late, watch too much TV before going to bed, keep the light on while sleeping. Others: good habits: be well organized, improve oneself constantly. Do not afraid of mistakes or failures. Bad habits: watch TV too long or play too much computer games. Procrastinate. Like to complain. Now let's try to write our own report. If you are a student from grade eight, here are your habits. Can you write a report? Look at this chart. Good habits: exercise, like run after school, always. Eat a lot of vegetables and fruit every day. Ask the teacher for help, always. Bad habits: forget to do homework sometimes, stay up late, fall asleep during the class, occasionally. Do you still remember the structure of the report? There are three parts of the report, right? Topic, good habits and bad habits. The topic includes who and what. Habits include activities and how often. We can also use sentence structure like have a lot of good or bad habits. And we can also use linking word like "however" to make the paragraph more logic and natural. Okay, are you ready to make the report? Let's start from the topic first. Remember, in this part, you are going to talk about who you are and what this report is about. So we can say, "I am in grade eight." Let me tell you something about my habits. Then let's focus on good habits, including activities and how often you do them. We can use the sentence structure: have a number of good habits. When we are describing, we can add some reasonable details. Let's try like this: I have a number of good habits. I like to do exercise. I always run after school. As for the food, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit every day. When I don't understand anything in study, I always ask the teacher for help. Great. Now the last part: bad habits. Again, we need to include activities and how often you do them. We can still use the sentence structure. Have a number of bad habits, and don't forget the linking word "however" and reasonable details. Let's try. However, I have some bad habits too. For example, I sometimes forget to do my homework, so I can't follow my teachers the next day. I also like to stay up late. 
By the way, I occasionally fall asleep during the class. This is the final version. Look at it. At the beginning, we talk about who you are and what it is about, and then we talk about good habits. At last, we talk about bad habits. All right, we did a great job together, right? Are you ready for another report? This time, imagine Chi is your best friend. This chart shows his habits. Can you write a report according to the chart? As you can see, for good habits, a balanced diet, a cup of milk, a snack, and a piece of bread for breakfast, always. Like to do exercise, play badminton twice a week. Bad habits. Stay up late, hard to get up early the next morning, often. Eat ice cream every week. When you are writing your report, don't forget to keep this structure in your mind. Okay, let's get started. For the first part, we can write like this. Chi is my best friend. He has both some good habits and some bad habits. 请注意，这里我们用上了 both and， 既，又。Now good habits. 还有一件事情提醒大家，这篇文章呢，描写的是齐的生活方式，主语是齐，第三人称单数，整个文段用的是一般现在时。所以，动词都要用第三人称单数的形式，比如 have 应该用 has， drink 应该用变形后的 drinks， like likes 等等。Let's try. He has many good habits. First, he has a balanced diet. For breakfast, a cup of milk, a an snack, and a piece of bread are always his choices. What's more, he also likes to do some exercise. He plays badminton twice a week. 大家注意到了吗？在这里，我们用了 first 首先 ，what's more 另外 ，also 也这样的一些连接词。大家也一定能够感受到，他们让这段表述更具有逻辑性和层次性了。Very good. Part three. Bad habits. We can report like this. However, he also has some bad habits. He often stays up late, so it's hard for him to get up early the next morning. Besides, he eats ice cream every week. He knows they are not good for him, but they taste good. 不知大家注意到了没有？这段话用了一个新的连接词 besides， 意思是除此以外，所以大家在自己的写作当中呢，也要恰当的使用这些连接词。This is the final version. Okay, dear students, time to summarize what we have learned in this class. First, we analyzed the text structure of this report. Topic. Good habits and bad habits. Then we practiced how to write about one's habits. During this process, we tried to use linking words such as first, besides, what's more, also, to make our writing more logic and natural. Homework: complete the chart first with your own habits or your parents' habits. And then write a report based on the chart. That's all for Unit Two. Thank you for listening. Bye.